This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Kurt Walker. Kurt, before we get on to Conlon Gill, you had a, a good win last week in Glasgow. Is that your end of the year done now? Are you looking towards 2024? Yeah, good win. That's me done. So I'll be able to enjoy this fight week. Happy with me year, and um, it's big face from now on, so I'm looking forward to next year. You're obviously promoted by top ranker with Conlon Boxing. What's the situation there for 2024? Have you sat down with Jamie yet and had a, a chat about where you want to be? I know we spoke previously about Isaac Lowe. He fights tomorrow night. Is that a fight that you want at the beginning of next year? Yeah, well, me and Jamie says, well, Jamie said to me from now on, no, there's no easy fights. Every fight's going to be hard. And once I heard Lee McGregor drop, dropped out, I said to Jamie, text him. So I don't know what came from it. They mustn't have gotten nothing because I'm not on the show. But I had a knockback that show last week to fight him this Friday. Just... For a big fight, you know, I'm ready for a big fight, but it's all up to Jamie and all the top rank what when it is and who it's against. Well, Common Boxing look to get Kurt Walker headlining in Belfast. I know you're obviously a Lisbon boy, but you get a good crowd in Belfast. Is that something that you want? That's a plan for uh, late Feb, early March, so a title fight hopefully, and then every fight's going to be big. I'm looking forward to it because the better the opponent, the better me. So it's going to be a big year for me. Kurt Mixon, a, a make or break situation for his career. This we you know we said it last time, but we'll say it again. Eddie's just told me there it is make or break for the winner and loser here. Do you believe that Mick just has too much in his armor for Jordan Gill? Yeah, definitely. I think working with Pedro has kind of brought him back to his amateur, which you know why he was an amateur world champion, why he was a amateur Olympic bronze medalist. What he done was brilliant. What he done with his feet work was class. He could fight in close. He could fight at long range. He could fight middle long. He could do everything. So I think Pedro's kind of brought a bit that back out on him. So. I'm looking forward to seeing him, and I think he'll, he'll not uh, Jordan Gill out. We've seen yesterday, I don't know if you've seen it, Mick's off social media, so he when I asked him, he said he hadn't seen it, but Jordan Gill wore a t-shirt of Mick getting knocked out of the ring yesterday by really? Lee Wood um, in his interview with Matchroom. Do you believe that's him just playing mind games to try and get Mick's out? I don't know why he's showing Lee Wood, as he's not Lee Wood, so why is he showing someone else who's just fanboy? Um, but Mick will take it personal, I think he'll find else. I think Mick will knock him out anyway. Where do you believe the ceiling is for Mick? Obviously, he's moved from Adam Booth to Pedro Diaz now. Have you noticed any difference? Have you seen him up close in any situation with Pedro yet where you've said, wow, he's a different fighter now? Yeah, I was training with him the last two weeks, sir, when he came over. You know, just get used to time. But it's fascinating watching what Pedro does with him. You know, I learn a lot watching him do certain things and different aspects of the game, which he probably forgot about when he trained pro because he thought you had to change completely, which which is not the case. So it's been it's been good to watch him. I've been learning, and the has been watching and learning stuff. and. It's very good, yeah. Kurt Walker, last one from me. You said you think Mick Conlon will knock Jordan Gill out. Give us a prediction of around five. Round five. Kurt Walker, thank you very much, mate.